Welcome in to At Bats, where normally we will bring you plate appearances from the best players, but today's show is a bit different. I'll be responding to some comments from our shorts feed. If this is your first time tuning in, I try to post at least three shorts a day, so make sure you comment if you see one come across your screen. First comment comes on the double play, and this guy Harry Weldon saying, let's get Pete Rose in the Hall of Fame. You said this on a couple of our posts, so I'm going to respond to you directly. And not only you, anybody else that think Pete Rose should be in the Hall of Fame. If we talking numbers alone, just numbers, sure, put him in. But I just can't agree with that, man. I can't agree with no kind of betting on games. Me personally, from my experiences and the thing that I've seen, when people got gambling addictions, it's something way more going on in their life that they really not putting out there. I mean, God rest the man's soul. He from the great city of Cincinnati. He grew up there. He played there. 24-year career in baseball. But you just can't bet on games. We all know that. And he should not be in the Hall of Fame. Now, look at this video. Then we're going to check out the comments. And we're going to go from there. Ardo will get the at bat. That one's in the air. Left center field. Back on it is Meadows at the wall. He leaps in. He makes the catch. Oh, my goodness. Come on now. If you don't like that, then you don't like Major League Baseball. This kind of play is not happening on the college level. It's not happening in the minors. And believe me, I watch a lot of softball. And I do try my best to keep up with things going on in the minors. But for me... Any display of athleticism like that, when you're sitting out in center field and probably get less than 10 opportunities a game out there, you got to respect that kind of play. This is not happening on none of those minor league levels. They can't even barely jump over a credit card in most of these games. Yeah, it happens in the majors. So if you're watching games all the time, then you probably see this kind of play being made. But believe me, this kind of opportunity don't come all the time. So you got to make it when it comes. It's almost like when a defensive tackle or a cornerback get a sack or an interception, they probably get that opportunity once per game. Probably not even that. So when you do get that opportunity, you got to make it. So I don't know what y'all talking about, but he made a great play right there. Now we got one more video coming. This one from the great Shohei Otani. Then we're going to react to the comments. We all are watching this guy. First off, why not just walk the guy? He coming to the plate hot. I think he was probably 5 of 5 at this time. One of the worst decisions I've ever seen. To put a slow breaking ball right over the man's eye. Stupid. But here go the comment I want to respond to. I mean, it's a crazy hypothetical, but my guy said, What's going to happen if the Dodgers and the Yankees meet in the World Series and Otani and Judge both hit, slug, bang, home runs and equal except Otani pitches two great winning games and close out the eighth and ninth innings of game seven? First off, crazy hypothetical, my man, but I feel you. I feel the question. First, Shohei not pitching right now, so we ain't going to be able to see that this year, so we can take that out the equation. Aaron Judge, his postseason struggles continues, but. Let's just answer the question directly. A large segment of the baseball world already think Shohei is the best player they've ever seen. I can't go that far because I've seen Barry Bonds. And for me, defense in baseball is just as important as hitting and pitching. But even with all that said, if Shohei get a World Series title for the Dodgers, especially playing two ways, that would make him the greatest baseball player ever. You win two games on the mound, then he'll probably knock in a few home runs, rack up the ribbies. No doubt he'll be considered the baseball goat after that. But again, it's a crazy scenario because Shohei is not a closer. I don't think they're going to pitch him in the 8th or ninth inning. It's very, very possible though. I mean, if I was a manager, I would definitely consider it. But I don't see it happening. I've been wrong before, so we'll see how this thing play out. But there you have it. Another episode of At Bats. The old pastime, as they call it, still has a hold on America. I appreciate you guys for your comments and giving me a chance to put this together. Keep those comments coming. Thank you for listening and watching. I'm Ailes for PRNM. Talk to you on the next one.